everyone in here probably has heard the name David Hudson, sort of form a Lawrence Gardner. Some of you may have even heard some of the garbage came out, very garbage mouth. I have a homeopathic here, it's the homeopathic of the superconducting white pole power. Okay. Laura took a little bit earlier, and I'd like to give her the bottle and allow her to walk around and give each person a little bit of it likes. You won't do anything except cause your body to manufacture a very small amount of sight, and you will then know what it feels like to have gold of that type in your body. Most of you out in hindsight will later will know why they call it ancient times, brother, brother, Scott. It's going to alter a few things uh, emotional, uh, energetically, how you feel, how you react to it. Now, I want to clarify something before we get started because Carter's been here. And I started out with Carter's information. And then I went to Hudson. I went to all of us, the scientists, and questioned everybody I could. The first thing that Hudson told me was something that's very important because there are a lot of people that have followed very hard procedure called what method and a few of the other ones. The first words out of David Hudson's mouth to me regarding the method was, it doesn't work. And I want to explain why. According to Hudson's definition of warming, if this little blue circle is warming, it's sitting off all by itself. We might have molecules of water. Okay. Yeah, and maybe need a darker or Could you talk a little louder? Yeah. Sure. I'll try and talk a little louder. How's that? Okay. I want to, to clarify something because I know Carter has been up in this area and he's given a misconception. He's spreading something that's not quite right. And it's very Carter. No, not Jim Carter. That's the Tina guy. According to David Hudson's definition on orbit, it was supposed to be monoatomic, not attached to anything. Okay? All atoms are single atoms begin with, but they're usually attached to things. And that's what makes this stuff a little bit different. If we had a water molecule in water, you'd have one oxygen and two hydrogens here, okay? And they're attached. They can be manipulated by changing the pH, which the wet method, method tells us to do. The ormate is not effective by manipulation of pH, it will stay in solution. It's not attached to anything. Okay. There was a misconception. Carter, Barry Carter was trying to tell everybody that you could knock the ornament down at the bottom, have this little white powder down at the bottom of your salt water or whatever. And he tells you to take it to about 10.78 pH. Arsenic also precipitates out in that range. Arsenic is eight times higher in ocean water than we ought to be consuming. Minimum. Okay. Folks, those precipitates. It takes about 50,000 atoms in a cluster for you to be able to see a little piece of dust in bright sunlight. So what you see down at the bottom is not ornate. Okay. It's clusters. Major size clusters of atoms. So that's why I wanted to get a little clarification because I know very hard to come around and try to tell you that when you change the pH in solution, you drop this stuff to the bottom. This is the stuff that David Hudson was talking about. It's not. David Hudson made that very, very, very clear in the big, very beginning of it. Now, the reason I'm bringing that up is because this processor puts out a totally clear product. There's no white powder sitting on the bottom of the glass. That's because in order for you to see it, you've got to have a lot of atoms there. This stuff spreads out through water. It's got a little energy field around it. They call it a miser field. As long as we charge that miser field up, nothing will attach to it because anything gets close gets pushed away, like bumper cars. We've all played bumper cars at one time or another in an arcade. Okay? And that was the big thing that I wanted to clarify because I know Barry Carter's been here before. And I figured 
if you're running with the wrong information, you can't understand what I'm going to tell you. Okay? I spent a lot of time in the laboratory and spent a lot of time going around talking to people who actually did the work before I started doing my work. And then I went to the laboratory seven days a week, 20 hours a day, and stayed there until I learned. That little part is something so that you'll know the difference. Okay? These precipitates are not safe. At least muscle test them to see whether or not you ought to consume it first. Okay? You warm up with muscle test this water. You can use all of your tests in any way, shape, or form that you want to. You can take it any laboratory you want to. Laboratories in the United States are not set up to be able to detect dormant. They're going to tell you it's a substantially pure water with some metal ions in it, maybe. Okay, metal ions are another name for Ormate. I don't know why people want to change the name of things all the time, but they do that, and they've done that through history. And it keeps us a little ignorant because we don't know what they change the name to some of the time. Okay? I prefer a simpler name. I call them the elements of life because without them, life on this planet is not possible. Okay? Now, these units are rather unique in that this is the executive model. This is an executive 100 friends had it quite a while she brought it uh, so that some people could sample a little water. And uh, it's one of our portable units. It's very, very user friendly. This is the uh, house under sink counter model and it has what's called a portability option which basically gives you four quick disconnect fittings that enable you to take it out and use it as a portable unit and hook it up. Hotels, motels, water faucets, whatever, as you go. And it gives you two spouts. One of them goes above your sink. Or, you know, you attach it to the top of the sink so you can dispense the product. Anybody got glass? Basically, as we turn the thing on, it more. We'll just dispense a little product here. And you get drink. Okay. When running in portable mode, you use this other boxes instead. Okay. Now, these water processors not only concentrate the ore that's in the water, but they are selective. They only concentrate the superconducting ore main. Guess what? That's the one that's really valuable to us. And that's the ones that have spiritual benefits and most of the health benefits. Okay. They are also capable and do it daily, year after year, they will take out more contaminants out of the water than any other technology on the planet. The cheapest model we have exceeds about 400% cleaner water than a standard reverse osmosis unit. So this unit here gets about 40 times pure for removal of harmful contaminants. We have certified reductions on chemicals like chlorine and fluoride and what have you, it's all been tested. Biological contaminants, you won't find any bacteria in this water, no viruses, no cysts, or anything else when it comes out the final product. We figured if we were going to give you concentrated warming and water, that's what we we're going to give you. And we weren't going to have any other garbage in there. Because not only is water liquid crystal, not only we 75% water on the average, but we need good water in our bodies. And the ideal carrier for the ore main into the body is water. If you ever had any super, the real superconducting gold, it runs away from your hand. Your body puts out a sufficient enough field of energy that you can't reach out and grab it unless it's in a glass of water. Okay? I've had a laboratory and have it run around to the other side of the test tube. <laughs> I've tried to get close enough it where I could get my finger on a little bit of it so they could put it somewhere. Any stuff will run away from me. Okay? This is what Hudson was talking about. Nobody's selling that stuff though. I'm gonna tell you why. It is way too powerful. Most people, I don't care where you are at, how ready you think you are. I was there and I thought I was super ready and I tried some with the Miser Field fully charged. It took the hue or the not of sound from its low background that it had been basically my whole life to a volume that was similar to being in the middle of a football stadium with 70,000 fans cheering all at the same time. Okay? Yes. From a few milligrams. 
Okay? That is how powerful it can be. If you're going out there and you're buying grams of some powder and it ain't doing that, you know it ain't got it in there. Okay? Everybody got, uh, was able to sample it? Oh. Did you take it around there? Yes. Okay. Um, every person in there will probably notice a small change. You're going to feel a little happier. Everything's going to be a little nicer. That's part of the effect you get. And you probably won't get a big boost in the not a sound out of homeopathy. This miser feels not fully charged, but you will get a change in frame of mind. And it does start to, to uh, open up the third eye. It does start to work on the heart chakra. Okay. And gold is the big step that most people are interested in because it's a spiritual step. Okay. It's the first big spiritual step. There are others beyond this. Anybody gets past gold 100%, come to me and I'll set you up with what's next. Okay? But for now, we are going to go into what, what you can't play with right now because I'm not going to teach you. Okay? I just say that I know what's next and I'll take care of that when that arises. Now, these units are all basically totally self contained. You don't have to do anything except change filters periodically. Um, the first three filters that are down on the bottom here, these first three cartridges down there, you replace those, you never have to replace anything in the secondary side of the system. Not as long as you get to those before you just totally exhaust them. Okay. How long does that take? That will vary depending upon how much garbage you have in the water that you're running and how much water you're running through it. Okay? And there's also another variable how much water pressure you have. The more water pressure you have, the more plugged up your filters can get to still flow the water through. These units must have water pressure. The only thing other than water pressure they require is water. They prefer that it be around 76 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's colder, it will slow it down. And the reason it slows it down is because water molecules get bigger as they get colder, and physical substances get smaller. Guess what? The pores through the filters get smaller, the molecules get bigger, it requires more pressure to push the water through. Okay? Up here, winter time, you need a 100 gallon per day unit if you want to produce a few gallons if you only have like 35 or 40 psi water pressure. Because the units are not made to run on low water pressure and not made to run on real cold water. Okay? If you operate one where we rate them at 80 psi and at 76 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's a machine that's rated for 100 gallons per day, they will normally put out about 110 on the average. We have to rate gallons a little bit, but we rate a certain pressure and temperature, and that's something that's important because you have to take that in consideration. If you're on a well and you only have 30 psi water pressure, you're going to have to boost your pressure regulator up to get this unit so that when it's operating, it's out of the red zone. There's a little gauge here. Most people can't see it, probably. Front row can. Um, there's a red area, and that designates low pressure. You're out of the operating zone on pressure. It'll tell you when your filters need to replace because the gauge will get down in the red. It'll tell you to hook it up to a water source where you don't have enough pressure. When the unit is not operating and spinach is making its water, water, but it's still hooked up to water pressure, the gauge will then change from its internal operating pressure to the full line pressure. If you get a uh, reduction of about uh, two hours on the clock. That's normal. Change between operating, internal operating, and full line pressure. Will be a little window of the, of the uh, gauge there. The reason I'm explaining this is because you are in cold country. It's much easier if I explain this and you understand that, hey, I hooked it up and it's in the red zone. Gee, me Christmas, I gotta raise the water pressure. It saves us a whole lot of explanations over the phone. I can explain to everybody all at the same time. We've tried to write this out. I've got 20 places on the website. People still ignore it, but if I talk to them, I know you heard me, otherwise you have selective hearing. Okay. Anybody in here ever experienced selective hearing? <laughs> Was that a no? <laughs> okay. I think everybody in here has experienced it once or twice. <laughs> and I'm not the only person there. Um, the processors are designed to last, last, and last. 
we don't put any parts in here that we can find something made better somewhere. These pieces, these fittings, even wholesale buying uh, 10,000 these dang little things at a time, they still cost me about three or four dollars a piece. I buy some cheap for about 10 cents. So not as long, not as good quality, and bleach toxins in the water. Um, construction is polypropylene and polyethylene, basically the only two plastics that don't have the BPA and acid chemical in them, that don't break down and don't bleach toxins in the water. Now, we should say bleach an absolute minimal amount of toxins in the water because everything's going to have some contaminants. I don't care whether it's glass, stainless steel, whatever. But we're trying to pick what was durable and what was the best material we could put it together with. Okay? Um, there are various different things. Uh, I encourage anybody to come by later, put their hand up around this area. There's primary energy device sitting in the bottom of the stage. Okay? And it's running continuously on zero point power. You can feel the energy, about, uh, I guess, 78% of the people can feel no problem. It's right here. Um, same place on this one. Okay. There's a uh, charging unit here that charges the miser field up for me. Rather unique thing. If we don't charge the miser field up, fully charge it on the Orman, we don't get the full benefits. Those full benefits include overturning the governor's built in the DNA. I don't know how many people want to overturn the government to open their DNA and release a few of their limitations. And these were made to dispense a product that enables you to deal with the changes. Okay? Because we can't take you from a level 400 consciousness or 500 or 200 to 1,000 overnight and expect really good results. It doesn't work that way. Most of us need to take things step by step. We go up a set of stairs one step at a time. Some of us will jump two steps or three steps once in a while. But we generally go up step by step. Okay? When I consume the white gold powder full of charge, even though it was a few milligrams, it made me jump an awful lot of floors. Wasn't very easy, wasn't very comfortable. Um, regardless of how ready I thought I was, I found that I wasn't. Okay? It greatly increased my ability to manipulate the reality around me. I found negative thoughts would manifest way too fast. Positive <laughs> <laughs> thoughts manifest too. <laughs> but let me tell you, there's a little funny negative thought. You're going down the highway, maybe it's 55 mile an hour zone, you're doing 65 for home with all the rest of traffic, right? Not thinking anything. Glancing your rearview mirror, and back there is a highway patrol. Most of us have the first thought is, is he going to pull me over? I'm going too fast. Oh my goodness, wrong button.